we are told to write seven hundredths as a fraction and a decimal. Why don't you get some paper and a pencil out and see if you can do that before we do it together. All right, so let's do it first as a fraction. So what is going to be the denominator of our fraction if they're saying seven hundredths? And the way I'm saying it is a little bit of a hint. Seven hundredths. Well, I think you got the picture. We're dealing with hundredths. So our denominator is going to be 100. And then how many hundredths do we have? Well, we have seven of them. I'll do that in a different color just to be clear. We have seven of those hundredths. So there you have it, seven hundredths. That's this expressed as a fraction. Now what about as a decimal? Well, we could think about our decimal places. If, let's say that this is the ones place, and I'm just putting a little blank here. So it's ones place and you have a decimal right over here. And then this would be the tenths place. And then this would be the hundredths place. Well, we, have, we want to represent seven hundredths. So let me be clear, this right over here is ones, this is tenths, and this is hundredths. I like saying, it's unusually fun to say that. Hundredths, all right, ones, tenths, hundredths. So how many ones do we have here? Well, we have no ones, we have zero ones. How many tenths do we have here? Well, we have no tenths. How many hundredths do we have? Well, we have seven hundredths. Okay, now it's getting annoying. We have seven hundredths. So you could write it that way as well. And if I wanted to just write it a little bit cleaner, I could just write no ones, no tenths, and seven hundredths. I said it the last time like a, like a normal person. Let's do another example. Here we're told select the written form of each number. And so they, on the left right over here, you have different representations here. We have things written as a decimal, a fraction, another decimal. And then we want to say, hey, which of these are represented in words or a combination of numbers and words up here? So pause this video and, and have a go at this as well. Okay, so this first number right over here, we have no ones. And then as we go one space to the right of the decimal, this is the tenths place. And it's clear we have four of those tenths. So this right over here is four tenths. So that is this choice right here. So we would, I'll shade it in. If you're doing this on Khan Academy, you would just click there and it would fill in. So what about this one? Well, this one we would read. You have four out of 10 or four tenths. So this again would be four tenths. So we would shade that one in. Now what's going on over here? We have no ones, we have no tenths, but we have four hundredths. I said it again, <laughs> it's too much fun. So we have four hundredths. So that's this column, so we would fill that one in. And we're done.